record. <laughs> Hello everybody, Barbara Drazka here, aka The Deal Tiva and Unicorn Profits. And today we're going to talk about what I'm sure you've heard lasted all over social media and over the news, and it's not a fad. I'm, I'm saying it, that's it, it's official now. Artificial intelligence, AI tools, all of it is not a fad. It's not something that's just like, oh, okay, in a couple months it'll go away. Like the internet was not a big thing, right? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't pay attention to the internet. Okay, well... Artificial intelligence is not a fad, and I have the lady who is um, becoming an expert on it, and even more importantly, has corralled a bunch of experts together to talk about how we can use artificial intelligence tools in our businesses and maybe in our lives. So today, thank you for being here. Amy Weiss, I introduce you to the maven of uh, all things AI, that's what we're going to call you from now on, okay? Um, and she's here to talk about how we can use things in our business, AI tools in our business. So, Amy, I'm going to pass the torch on to you. Talk to us. Yeah, so thank you so much for having me, Barbara. Um, you know, I would just love to tell everybody that, yes, I'm into AI, but I'm also an Amazon seller. I've been in e-commerce. I started selling when I was uh, in the military in 2007. So I've been on Amazon for a very long time and e-commerce for a very long time. And the other thing that's um, unique about me, I primarily practice private label. I have a couple of published books as well, but so I do dabble in Kindle, but um, some of the, the big things that I do that's different from maybe others is I'm actually an inventor. So I invented a product and uh, I had to learn product development from scratch. I had to learn all about manufacturing and I couldn't just pick out a product on Alibaba and send it to Amazon, right? So uh, that's kind of my niche. And when AI, I also have a background in cybersecurity, um, and when AI started kind of chat GPT, especially started kind of rising to fame here, it kind of came out of nowhere and took the world by storm, right? I am always a nerd about these things. I'm always digging in and trying to figure out what's going on. Um, and so I dug in, I went and I learned it. And just like I did with product development, everything else. And what I discovered was really, really incredible. Like I learned that I could really create products that I'd been working on for years. I mean, I, and I'm going to show you guys an example today of a product that I've been working on for years that I literally developed in a few hours, electronic components, everything utilizing AI. So let me just repeat that for a second. <laughs> guys, I was working on this product for years and in a few hours, I was able not only to develop the product, but also to have complete visualizations of the product, the components, the website mockups, everything. That's huge. So as Barbara said, this is not a fad. And this is going to change everything that we do in e-commerce. Think about it. I can now generate an image of a, a woman wearing a headset running on the beach and just put my logo on it. And now I've got incredible uh, ad campaigns without even needing to hire a photographer, right? So this is what your competition has access to. And it's actually really easy to use. So if you're not paying attention to what you can do with it, it's going to really put you at a disadvantage. So I'm not here to scare you. You shouldn't be afraid of AI. You should be excited about all of these tools that are coming to, uh, to help us along. So there's tons of things you can do with AI. You can do content marketing. You can do create really great images. You can do product development. There's so many things. The opportunities are endless. And as Barbara mentioned, we're doing an AI summit. I didn't want to teach all these things. I don't know all of them. I want to learn more. I see what these people are doing and they're incredible. So incredible. We have this two day summit coming up and Barbara has an awesome coupon code deal diva. And you guys can come and check out the summit. It's at amazing at home.com forward slash AI. And you can use her coupon code. It's two days. It's online. It's virtual. And if you can't make it live, you can catch the replays, but we're having eight hours every day of presentations by the my favorite experts, people that I was learning from, I've asked them to come in and teach us. 
So I'm just stoked about it and I'm really excited. But Barbara, is it okay if I share some of the stuff that I've done with AI? I would love it if you do. And at some point, um, ask me how I am using AI as of the past week. I'm very excited to share that, but I'm going to let you let me know when you're ready for me to, to do that share. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm excited to hear about how you're using it. I, you sure you don't want to just tell us now? Yeah, why not? Because, you know, I'm I'm an infant at AI, complete infant. I've just started digging in. So I started a, a brand, a pet brand called Snarky Cat. For those of you who have ever followed anything I do on social media, I have a black rescue cat named Boo who has his own following. And we're building a brand of cat products around it called Snarky Cat. And the voice of the product descriptions wasn't really what I wanted to do. So I thought last week, let me try something. Let me just ask AI to take my product descriptions and rewrite them like a funny snarky cat would write the descriptions. I was <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I was crying. The descriptions were so funny and spot on. So yeah, I stumbled into it last week. <laughs> You know, and it's so funny you mentioned that, Barbara, because as you know, we're both fellow cat lovers. Um, and, you know, I'll share my screen and, and just show you. Um, but I, as I mentioned, I'm an inventor and I invented this product right here that I'm holding. And this is actually a cat litter box cleaner. So it works like this. It has a giant scoop up top. You just pour the litter box into it and it has a holding bit on the bottom. So my utility patent is um, anything that sifts with the holding bin underneath. So this makes it possible, nice. my product makes it possible for you to clean up the three litter boxes in less than 60 seconds and use the same litter over and over again with zero odor for up to 20 days. So, yeah, so guys, am I am I her target market for this? You're going to send me the link to that when we're done here, right? I'm going to be an affiliate, snarky cat, like Boo's going to do a whole product review yes. on it. So Let's I had no idea it. you did this, Amy. This is very cool. And it's funny that you mentioned that you utilize AI for um, for these snarky cat kind of quotes. I did the same thing for years. I wanted to, on my social media, come up with quotes. Like, you know how uh, amazing at home we do like Motivation Mondays where we give entrepreneurs motivation, right? Well, what I did with my brand is I could never really think of funny snarky quotes from a cat. And I wanted to do like funny cat Monday quotes. And so I asked chat GPT to come up with some funny quotes as like a cat acting like a cat. That's like making fun of a human for being a human for being its slave. Right. And it came up with all these really funny quotes. And then I asked, asked it to actually, um, and I actually have that screen brought up so I can show you guys what that conversation looked like. Um, but I then asked it, you know, come up with the actual social media post around that quote and actually recommend the image that should go behind that quote. And so it recommended those images. And then I just copied and pasted the, that into image software. And I came up with some really cute cat funny stuff. It was really great. And then so, since you're into print on demand, you could do journal. You could do it like a, a motivational cat saying journal, for example. You know, if you want some, if you want some motivation for that. Or coloring book, go, sorry. Yeah, join the Mid Journey Facebook group. The Mid Journey Facebook group has tons of people in there sharing. This lady shared the other day, she was making tarot cards, collectible tarot cards utilizing Mid Journey. And I'm going to get into Mid Journey in a second and show you guys. Um, but she's been selling her decks of tarot cards. Um, and so there's really incredible things you could do, guys. Like, let's, let's actually, I'll show you some of these Dig things in. today. So again, I can't wait to see. So this is me. I'm an inventor. I've got a couple of patents. I'm a product development expert. You know, I used to do military planning and cybersecurity, and now we're here. So let's let's move. Let's talk about what is AI. So the, that's a question that a lot of people have. They're like, what do you mean? What's AI? Like AI is a lot of things, but in general, it's artificial intelligence, right? The thing about artificial intelligence that makes it different than just a software program is that artificial intelligence is a computer program that can actually act like a human's intelligence by recognizing patterns, making decisions, and learning from data. So that's what's really neat about it. It uses a variety of techniques and algorithms to perform these tasks. So machine learning, you might hear about that. That's meaning it can learn from the data. Deep learning, meaning it can make decisions. 
and natural language processing, NLP, natural lang language processing means we can talk to it like a human and it can understand what we mean. And ironically, we can talk to it in our native language. So yesterday I was working with a client who lives in Mexico and has a brand in Mexico and he wants to start selling in the United States. And so I literally, he sells on Amazon Mexico and I just took his listing and I put it into Amazon or I put it into chat GPT and I said, Hey, chat GPT, I'm an Amazon seller. I sell in Mexico, but I want to sell in the U S I want to rank for the, um, keywords, uh, paste wax for wood paste wax in general and paste wax for metal plastic comma, comma, comma. Right. And I said, please take this listing, the title and description and write, write it in English helping for the US Amazon market, helping me rank for the following keywords, um, include a title, bullet points and product description. And it did all of that for me yesterday. So in a matter of minutes, do you know how long that would have taken me had I been on this coaching call with him and we didn't have AI? But I'm using AI on my coaching calls all the time, it's incredible. So real world applications too, right? Image and speech recognition, autonomous vehicles. I drive a Tesla. I love that I don't have to drive anymore. <laughs> I can literally turn it on and hang out. And, you know, I'm going to be going to Austin for SellerCon next week. And that's my three hour drive to Austin. I'll be just hanging out, you know, I'll still be in the driver's seat, but my car will be taking care of the hard part. Um, recommendation systems, fraud detection, so many great things that AI can do for us. And there's a myriad of tools. Of course, we're going to show you some tools today. Now, the thing is, it's more than just asking ChatGPT what it can do for you or Google Bard, right? There's all these different chat tools where you can chat with AI and it does that natural language processing and gives you recommendations that can summarize data. Um, which is really cool, but it can do much more. So your expectation is, oh yeah, okay. It can give me some crappy product ideas. It can re summarize my reviews on Amazon. It can do some content creation, but the reality is it can give you incredible brand and product development, unique product ideas and awe inspiring designs. This picture right here is um, a Modern dairy brand. Can you imagine your milk jug looking like this? This was created in a few minutes with ChatGPT and Midjourney. So my agenda today is to blow your mind about some of the things that you can do with AI. You can visually represent your wildest dreams and you don't have to come up with the ideas. So here on the left, I had a client that was selling olives, imported olives from Spain. These things were really expensive, but he was delivering them in a plain brown box. It wasn't an experience. And so people were complaining, right? And he was getting these bad reviews. And so what I did is I asked ChatGPT, I said, imagine, I said, I explained, hey, remember it's natural language processing. So I explained, hey, I sell imported olives from Spain. It's supposed to be an experience. It's supposed to be a unique experience in the U.S. to try these. And, you know, I was like, right now I'm selling them in kind of a plain brown box and I want to create a new experience. I said, imagine packaging for my olive sets. Um, describe it in great detail. And literally all I did, guys, is I copied and pasted what ChatGPT put out into mid journey. So all I did, and it came up with these designs. All I did was copy and paste. I didn't even need to know mid journey prompting. I just did it right. Second one here in my mastermind group, we did a garlic press redesign. We said, okay, how far can we push this? Right. Let's see if ChatGPT can come up with a completely new innovative design for the garlic press. And so we came up with logos. We came up with brand names. We did all of this in a matter of minutes. And again, simply copy and pasting from ChatGPT to MidJourney. So I'm gonna show you some examples of that. Then the third one, this is the product I was working on for years. Of course, I deal in cat poop, right? Like my product is all about cat poop. I want happy cats and happy humans. But when it comes to dogs, we're still cleaning up dog turds from our backyard. And it's a major problem. And I wanted something a little bit more automatic, something a little bit cooler. So I thought, okay, 
maybe, you know, those toilets in RVs that will basically like incinerate the poo. I thought, okay, maybe I can come up with a can that you can take as your pooper scooper when you're taking your dog out on a walk and you scoop up all the poo into this little can and then you bring it home and you put it in your little mini incinerator, you push the button and the poop goes bye-bye, right? That might be cool, right? But I had a little chat with my friend ChatGPT and when I talked about this, I told ChatGPT, I said, oh, I have this problem. Like I'm trying to develop this product. I'm a product developer. I want to develop this product. I'm, it's based on this problem. Can you help me come up with some ideas for solutions to this problem? And ChatGPT gave me all of these different solutions, all different ones. And I discovered, I was like, oh, wow, you know, there's this is really interesting. And we ended up, one of the ideas we came up with was, you know how they have those robotic lawnmowers, right? That will mow your lawn. That technology already exists. What about a robotic pooper scooper that will pick up the poop on your lawn. Do you think people would pay for that? Yes, guys, I actually validated the market and it turns out they will. Um, people can't wait for me to launch this product, but I got everything, visualizations, the components, exactly how it would work. I asked ChatGPT to act as a product developer and a product designer and give me all of the components, everything I needed to take it to a 3D CAD, and to a, a product um, developer to actually put it into diagrams for me. Um, I did website mockups for this brand, a brand name, everything, everything. So you guys, this is incredible what you can do. You can't just come up with ideas. You can also visualize them in what used to take us months and months, sometimes years of work we can do in hours or less and sometimes even in minutes. So that is just really, really incredible. So what are the tools I'm talking about today? I'm mostly talking about ChatGPT and MidJourney. So I just wanna tell you about that. ChatGPT, as we talk about natural language processing, it's $20 for a plus plan, uh, $20 a month. It is free to use, but if you pay for the plus plan, you get more access and you get access to 4.0, which is their latest um, development of it. If your country, some countries do not allow for access to 4.0, so you could use a tool called Forefront.ai, and you can give that to your VAs. That has access to GPT 4.0, and it's free. So you have some other tools that you can look for. Also, Google Bard. Go to bard.google.com, and that has access to the internet, and you can ask it questions. It's really great. It's completely free. So that's another good one. ChatGPT so far has been the most innovative and most powerful that I've used, but I do also use Bard, Poe, um, Bing. I also have Bing um, on my phone and you know on my computer and I've used that before. So I also use some of these other tools as well, but ChatGPT is the one I use the most. And then Midjourney, that is AI image generation. That's how I'm showing you all these visualizations. All you do is put in the words that you wanna see for your image. They can be very easy, simple sentence or quick and elaborate. And this costs 10 to $30 a month, depending on your subscription level and how many AI image generations you want, but it's very powerful. Now, if you don't have access to Midjourney, you don't wanna pay for it. Canva also has an AI image generation tool. Um, also, uh, chat GPT open AI also has one called Dolly that you can use for free. There's also a really cool, um, one that turns any sentence into a 3d image called, um, oh, it's by hugging face. It's called shap dash E S H A P like shape shap dash E. Um, so you can just type that into Google and you can pull it up. And it'll actually create a 3D image of something you can import then into a 3D imaging software. And so I did one, I did a cat that looks like a coffee mug. Barbara, imagine what we could do with that. <laughs> so really, really, really cool stuff. So let's talk about prompting, okay? Because prompting is the hard part, right? You need to make sure you're having a conversation and add context. Don't just say, give me product ideas. Instead, say, I'm starting a business. We sell this type of products to this type of customer on Amazon or on our website. We want to do this. Ask the right expert. That's the third part. Ask ChatGPT or whatever AI you're talking to that has natural language processing, ask it to act as a certain role. 
act as a marketing expert, act as a product designer, act as a lawyer, act as my health coach, act as a wellness coach, and um, act as a nutritionist and make me a meal plan following the um, Whole30 diet plan for the next three weeks. Then make me a grocery list. And then, by the way, ChatGPT has an Instacart uh, plugin where you can actually have them add it to your cart as well. So all different ways you can use it in your business and your life, guys. So many cool things that you can do. All right, so that's ChatGPT prompts. Now, mid-journey prompting is a little bit different. Remember, the order matters. So <laughs> I asked it to take this image of my uh, litter box cleaner, which no longer looks like this. This is an early 3D printout. Um, but I asked it to take an image of my litter box cleaner and put it in a laundry room. Well, it put my litter box cleaner into a laundry basket. <laughs> <laughs> like your cat so, looks terrifying. It was, and look at this poor cat. He looks terrified. Oh my God. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny. What you got to play around with the prompts, but you could definitely learn. Use ChatGPT for help. You can literally just copy and paste whatever ChatGPT outputs. And then to use an existing image, you can actually upload an image into MidJourney. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys some of this stuff that I've done. So this is that eco poop case study, but I'm going to exit out of here. And I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I've done. So funny cat quotes. Let's talk about that. Um, you know, Barb was talking about for hers, right? I said, act as if you are a cat who can talk and come up with some funny cat quotes you would say to a human. Oh and it came up with all these. And I was like, okay, for each quote, suggest an image for posting on social media. Ensure your image descriptions are descriptive enough for me to put them into mid-journey and use AI image generation to create them. And it gave me for each quote, why chase mice not when you can chase laser pointers, an image of a cat pouncing on a red laser dot with a confused mouse nearby. Um, so they have, you know, some image ideas here. And then I asked it to make 10 more quotes because I didn't like all of these. Some of them I didn't like, right? But then what I did is I said, create text for social media where we'll feature these funny cat quotes on our business page. Include hashtags to ensure we get cat people following and sharing. So, you know, here we go. Attention cat lovers, it even includes little emojis. We're celebrating our feline friends with some hilarious quotes from the perspective of the ruler of the house. Check them out and let us know your favorite, right? And then we got all of our hashtags here. And then they said, come up with some questions to ask cat lovers to get the conversation going on social media. People love to talk about their cats and cat breeds. Let's get some, let's come up with some questions. And you can see, I even screwed up. And it still knows, it's natural language processing. It knows what I'm saying. So it came up all with all different things. How about 10 more questions? I literally handed this over to my social media manager and said, okay, Anne, take it away. Now I have a month of content that literally took me minutes to make. Sometimes even two months, three months of content, right? Wow, that's so, crazy. That is so cool. Insane, right? The other thing that I did, guys, is I used a, this is one of our sponsors at the AI Summit, Pictory. I used a blog that was already on my website about how to introduce a new cat to your family. And this um, software, Pictory, allows you to take any kind of script and enter it in and it will create a video for you. So you can see, and it, it will add stock images, stock quotes, um, but video ranks a lot better. So what you can do is you can use Pictory to use have AI voiceovers, all of that. And it will actually, you know, take your, um, take your, your uh, story, your blog post and create a video for you. And you can drag in different, like if I don't like this image, I can go over to visuals and I can search for, uh, you know, good news, something like that. And, you know, I can see, um, you know, like this person, whatever. Oh, this person's excited, right? So if I wanted to, I could just drag this over and replace, you know, with a different image there, right? So anyway, you can play around and you can do the scene duration. You can do AI voiceover. So you've got the audio option here and we can pick background music. We can pick voiceover. So I have Ava, the female voice applied and she's gonna read all of these. So no, I don't have to get on camera. 
and I can still have videos for all of my blogs to help my blogs rank even more. I can even ask ChatGPT, hey, what are some questions that cat people are asking on the internet that I could answer and also that would rank well on YouTube? Give me the, the ideas and then give me the video scripts. I can ask it to give me a video script and I can copy and paste it into Pictory and then Pictory will pick the images that match. And then I can put a ton of content on YouTube that will answer cat's quest cat lovers' questions. And Barbara, what happens when you put content on YouTube? Where does it rank? Oh gosh, it depends on the category, but it's a tough, tough to rank, especially about it, cats. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, exactly. But the cool thing is if you create YouTube videos, if you're trying to rank your blogs and you create YouTube videos, you will rank much, much faster because YouTube ranks on Google and Google owns most of search. So when you search for something like, you know, how do I, you know, do, how do I introduce a new cat to my family, for example, to my cat family, you're going to see blog posts are actually going to come after videos. The video suggestions come up first in search. So if you want to rank your content fast, you're going to be able to do that. Zach um, is actually, Zach Franklin is coming to, uh, to the AI Summit to teach us all about how to use AI for SEL, for ranking. So if you have a Shopify store, you have a WooCommerce store, and you're wanting to rank it, these are some quick ways to make videos, make content, and rank super fast. And then you can use AI to help you with your SEO. So that is just really, really awesome. And I want to show you guys what I did for... Um, this ego poop um, case study. So what I did is I said, I asked ChatGPT, I said, generate new product design ideas based on the wish of the people. The problem is dog poop. People don't like picking up dog poop and it's gross to have to carry around dog poop bags. Plastic waste from dog poop bags also hurts the environment. Think of a new and innovative product that will allow us to clean up dog poop but won't harm the environment or require carrying around dog poop bags. So it gave, the first idea it gave was biodegradable and compostable dog poop bags. Boo, those already exist. We know that, right? Like, okay. And it explains it, right? Another idea could be a waste dispenser that would be installed in public areas, which would dispense biodegradable bags when they need to pick up after their pets. And then they said, additionally, a dog waste dispenser machine that can be placed in a backyard or dog park that would break down dog waste into a nutrient rich fertilizer. Ooh, I liked that idea. I thought, ooh, that's interesting. And then I said, well, wait, I don't wanna sell to the government, that's hard. And I said, how would you convince the government to invest in dog waste digester machines? And it gave me basically a government pitch deck. And guys, I was in the United States Air Force for 18 years. I can tell you this would work really well. <laughs> so this is a very effective pitch for the government. So it actually wrote me a pitch for that. And then I was like, okay, you can see you guys. I'm just having a conversation. I said, how would a dog waste digester machine work? What would it look like? Describe it in great detail. And so it explained everything, all the mechanisms of it, how it would work, right? And then I literally just copied and pasted that into Midjourney. And I got some really cool mock-ups, some cool ideas, right? Um, you can see these were the ones that it came up with for the park. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I get some cool ideas, right? And I'm asking it even about like, what am I going to call this thing? I went on and on. You can see all the cool pictures, all the cool things it came up with. And all I did, you guys, was literally just copy and paste whatever ChatGPT had into Midjourney. How did I come up with this idea? I want to show you. This guy, I met him in my chat GPT experts Facebook group. And this is where I learned a lot of this stuff. He literally said, I just, I want to open a business. I'm going to sell eco high quality dairy products. I want to have an online shop and a presence in shopping malls with small shops. I need help to design my logo. And he literally just copied and pasted this logo description into Midjourney, and look at what he got. Beautiful, right? Then he said, would adding
doing a bit of Azure work and look at what happened with the logos. He then put that into mid journey. So this is where I got this idea of, oh my gosh, like I can have any conversation with AI and then I can just copy and paste it into mid journey and get the visual. It was incredible. Then he said, we're done with the logo. Now imagine a landing page. And he just copied and pasted this in and look at what mid journey came up with. That's insane. That is so cool. It's insane, right? So obviously I can't use this right away, but could I hand this over to a designer and get it done ASAP? Heck yeah. This is way better than me trying to, to put something together in Canva or put together a PowerPoint slide like I used to for a designer and go, ah, oh, it's kind of needs to look like this, but like this. Guys, you can yeah, visually I, I use uh, Well, up until this presentation, I use wireframe software to frame out websites and it's a long process. This is insane. Minutes. I'm going to try this right after we get off this call. Minutes. I did this with my mastermind group and everybody was like mind blown. They were like, oh my gosh, Amy, I'm going to block off my whole schedule for the next two weeks. Yeah, Just truly, like, truly. Crawl into a hole, right? But look what else he did with this, you guys. Here he went into, how about redesigning the website as an innovative and out of the ordinary website? Something really creative, never seen before. Look at that. So think about this, Barbara, for your upcoming brand. I want to see Snarky Cat shine. This is crazy. <laughs> it's, wow. in, it's crazy. He even did flyers, which I thought were really cool. So these are some ideas. I want to show you guys how Mid Journey works, okay? Because this is actually really easy. Um, so let me show you how Mid Journey works. Mid Journey works inside of Discord. Okay, so Midjourney, you sign up, you go to midjourney.com and you sign up to get invited to the channel, the chat channel, okay? And so you'll click inside of this chat channel and then you can go to the newbies rooms when you're just starting, you can go to the newbies rooms and all you do to utilize, um, you can see this person used portrait of a bald eagle looking at viewer backlit. That's it, that's all they said, right? So. I'm going to steal this. This is interesting. Well, let's let's look at some of the different ones. But then what Midjourney does is it gives you different options. So the very first thing that it gives you is four different images. So you put in your your um you put in your prompt, right? And it's going to give you four different images to choose from. And you can click on it and kind of bring it up, right? And this is image number 1, this is image number 2, this is number 3, and this is number 4. Okay? So you can pick the ones, you can see underneath here, we've got U1, U2, U3, U4, V1, V2, V3, V4. So you can pick which ones you like and U means upscale and V means make four more of that version, make variations of that version. So if I clicked V1 and I can do this on other people's images. If I clicked V1, it would make me variations, four more variations of this image here. If I just wanted a better version of this image here, that's what this person's done. They've upscaled version four. Now, if I want to try again, I can hit this button here. Now, when I upscale, it comes like this, right? So this is the upscaled version of one of the images. So this was image number one, upscaled version. When you upscale, you get another option to either make variations, open it on the web, or favorite it, right? So that's fine. You can make variations of this and then we can get lots of different eagles, you know, so you can just kind of play around with it. Now, what I have done is because what ends up happening when you come down into some of these other rooms, right? Um, you can see they have like, they have also chats for image prompts, multi-prompts and people will share things. So you can go into some of these chats. But when I come into these rooms down here, this is after you're a subscriber, you can use one of the general rooms. When you put something in here, you lose your image very quickly. So let's just grab one of these. This is cute. A hamster training in the gym, holding up some weights. So this is funny. Barbara, we're going to do this with a cat, okay? I'm, I'm going to change this and we're going to make a cat image. So awesome. all you do on mid journey is you type in forward slash imagine and then you can click here and then you put it in. So I'm gonna paste in that prompt and I'm going to say a cat training in the gym, holding up some weights over his head, 
Um, all right, let's make sure that it doesn't say anything about hamster again. All right, cool. So let's see what it comes up with. So I'm gonna hit enter and now it has sent it. But look at what happens, guys. You can see, I don't even know where my prompt went. It's way up here, right? So now I have to wait for it, my turn to come. And in the meantime, all these other images are gonna pop out, right? So I can either sit up here and wait for it to start processing. You can see right now it says it's waiting to start. I can either wait for it to start processing and hope that too many images don't pop up, but when it's done processing, it's gonna show up at the bottom of this chain, right? So we can see how oh, this person upscaled one of the images, right? One of the hamster images. Um, but we don't know where our image is gonna come up and you can very easily lose your image. So what I have done, you can either private message the, oh, there's our cats, look at here it is. But if I didn't know any better, I might've missed this image, right? So here's our cat training in the gym. Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's cool. Hilarious. And we could have been more, um, we, we could have been more, you know, distinct. Descriptive, like, black cat, yeah. Right. But we can see we've got all these. So now that we have that, we can, oh my gosh. All right. Now that we have that, we can either upscale one of them. We can create variations of it. We can do all kinds of different things. So let's create variations of, um, I like version four. He looks like he's really crazy little cat. So let's create some variations uh, of that. What I don't like is like the weights all around him. So maybe I would change the, the, um, the prompt a little bit. Um, you could also ask it to try again, but what I can do is if I don't want to be lost in all these images, I can just create my own server. So you just click add a server you can create your own server and name it. And then you can actually invite the mid journey bot to your server. So you can, um, invite it. You can click on it and invite it to your server. And so that's what I've done so that I don't lose all of my images so that they're very easy to do. So here is my image. Here's my server. So this morning I was posting about a book that I read. So I created this image, female teenager staring at a phone screen, standing in the middle of the crowd in the city, unaware of anything around photorealistic 4k version five. So you can see it came up with all these different images and I really liked this one because she really looked lost, right? So I upscaled that and I used that for my social media post, okay? But this is in my server. So in my own server, all I have to do is click imagine and I can don't have to compete with all the rest of those, right? So that's, that's what's great. Now, if you lose your images, the other thing you can do is you can go forward slash help um, just like you'd be working in Slack or whatever shows help for the bot. Let's see. Can you well, Amy, work? while you're doing it, I just wanted to give you a time check. It's uh, 1041. And uh, I know we could get like dig into Jet GPT and Mid Journey for hours and yes. hours. I want to make sure that we um, that you've got time to talk about the summit and all the other things, because it's not just about image generation and what Amy showed. Yeah. She is just just scratch the surface. So let's just, I, I want to honor your yes, time and make exactly. sure that- uh, let's, yeah. let's visit the summit page. So okay. you go to amazingathome.com forward slash AI. And remember, you're going to use code Deal Diva because that's going to save you money. Um, yeah, let me just pop up a screen you... real quick. Go ahead. I'm going to pop up a screen real quick so that yeah. you guys can screenshot this. There you go. It's amazingathome.com slash AI. And save 50 bucks with discount code Deal Diva. So go ahead and screenshot that. And I'm going to stop the share and let you take that back over again. Go ahead and share yeah. your screen again. Mm -hmm. And there's no space in Deal Diva. So it's just all one word, Deal Diva. Thank you. Um, yeah, no problem. My and bad. Then, um, and then let's see here. So I just want to show you guys the schedule of what we're going to be covering. So it's two days online virtual summit with replays available. And with Barbara's code, if you buy it before the end of this week, you're going to be able to get your ticket for as low as $49. So because it's still nice. tickets are still on sale price, plus you're using the discount code. So online summit, we're going to do it 24th to 25th of May. That's next week. Um, and we have just the most incredible speakers. So Chad Rubin, he's been working with AI for years. He, um, you know, 
has really, he showed, he's showing us in his presentation how he uses AI in his business and his life. I learned from him how to make AI my life coach, my wellness coach. I mean, I used to spend all this time meal planning and everything. Like, so of course I learned so many cool things about how to do this in my business, but I also learned how to actually fit AI into my life in a really positive way. So he's going to be doing that. Keith Crow used to work for NASA as a scientist, and he has been working with AI for years. He's going to teach us how to master prompting, because if we don't know how to master prompting, and I, you guys, I've reviewed all the presentations of our speakers, and they're mind-blowing. I've already learned so much just reviewing their presentations of like, oh, I don't know, I'm going to like fit all this stuff in, but I love it. So Keith is going to teach us about um, prompt mastery. Then Brian's going to come in. Brian is an Amazon seller, and he has actually utilized AI to launch a full brand, and he's already selling that brand. So he's going to show us exactly what he did. And he's my co-host for the summit, but he's going to show us his products, his brand, and how he did this, and that they're actually selling, that the data actually worked. It's incredible what he's done. Then Zach Franklin's going to come in and teach us about websites and SEO. Like how can we rank super fast on Google? How can we get our products seen? And I don't know if you guys saw what Google's doing with AI now, but Google now is integrating AI into search and showing videos and shopping suggestions. So if your brand doesn't have content, you're going to get lost in the shuffle when all this comes out because it is incredible what is happening. It's all happening faster than we can even imagine. Um, we are 30 years ahead of where they thought we would be right now with AI. 30 years. So the stuff that's happening is going to happen super fast. So we need to learn it. We need to understand it. We need to utilize what works for us in our lives and our businesses. Then Ritu is going to come in and she's going to talk, us about, talk to us about how to utilize AI for advertising. So you can actually utilize AI to help you optimize your ads. Wow. And she shows us all kinds of ways to use it. Um, then Max Sinclair, he actually created a software called Ecomtent. And he's giving you guys a super discount for his software during this summit. But what he has done is, you know how with mid-journey, I just showed you guys, it's hard to like, um, you know, imagine like putting your product in that image. It's not good. It's good at generating images, not good at putting your product into the images. You guys saw what happened with my litter box cleaner in the laundry room. <laughs> that was not pretty. So what Max has done is he's developed an AI tool that allows you to put your product in a ton of different AI generated backgrounds. So cool. And he's going to show us how he did this with AI image generation during his presentation so that we can not only use his software, that's cool. Yeah. But I was like, no, Max, teach us how you did that. So we're going to learn that from Max. Then we had Nathan Bailey coming in. Nathan is going to talk to us about how we can utilize AI for intellectual property and trademarks, right? How can we actually use it to help us with our searches and help us with our logos and all of our creations, right? I mean, he's actually going to bring a lawyer because he's not a lawyer. So he's actually going to bring a lawyer so we can get real legal advice during the time because the topic of AI along with uh, legal is kind of tough, right? Then we're gonna have a panel on the last day, right? So we're on the first day. So we're gonna have a long panel where we, everybody can ask questions and we can just kind of wrap up the day and just talk about everything that we're learning, um, some networking between everybody. And then the next day, Keith is gonna come back and talk to us about the upcoming app store. There's an app store that's coming. Remember I talked to you about that 3D thing in the beginning? An app store is coming, just like your, your Google app store, your Apple app store, but it's for AI. So we need to know about this so that we can utilize these. Then Michael Hayden, oh my gosh, this guy's so cool. He started, he was in years in marketing and he started making um, Google Sheets using ChatGPT that will automatically create your content for you in bulk. So that was the thing he really wanted to start using AI in bulk because I can do these funny cat quotes, but how can I do this in bulk every month on repeat? Well, you can use the API for ChatGPT and you can call it and it will automatically create your content. And you can actually use another plugin that will publish your content automatically. Wow. So that is what Michael's going to teach us how to take this to the next level, right? Incredible. Then we've got Christopher Brock. He has grown his Facebook group on AI to over 100,000 members in a very short period of time. So he's going to talk about social media growth strategies. 
Then we got Anthony Lee. Anthony is incredible. He has completely replaced his team with AI automations. And he shows us exactly how we can do the same. Now, his team is still there, but they're all working faster and getting four times, five times as much stuff done because of these automations that he's built. He shows us each of the automations in his presentation so that we can utilize these uh, calls out to ChatGPT, kind of like um, what Michael Hayden is doing, but with these automations using like Integromat, Make.com, Zapier, and now we can have all automatically chat GPT, automatically answering our emails for us, automatically creating content for us on demand, automatically starting projects for us. Incredible. Then we've got Shannon. She is a business coach and she works with coaches and she ha helps with AI integration across all of your business processes. Shannon's going to come in and talk about that. Then we got Brett McLaughlin. Brett is the CTO of Carbon6, huge tech company. And Brett is going to show us how to take prompting and AI to the next level. I mean, just his little promo interview I did with him blew my mind and gave me totally new ideas about what I could do. So he's showing us how they're utilizing it across a big tech company and the ideas that he gives. I just reviewed his presentation yesterday. Mind blowing. Then we've got Paul Barron. This cat, I don't even know what to say about him. <laughs> he's been in a closet working on AI for a couple of months now. But the things he is building are mind blowing. If you think these tools that you've seen, some of these AI listing tools that some of the softwares are putting out are cool, you should see what Paul's building. It will blow your mind. Perfectly accurate customer personas, chatbots that can actually answer like you, utilizing your business's information, changing the game, you guys. Paul's doing it and I'm like, come teach us, Paul. And then finally, to round it off, we have our panel discussion for day two. So that's it. That's all two days of the summit. You can come to amazingathome.com forward slash AI and get your tickets. We have general admission and VIP tickets. General admission is your live access pass. You can come into the lives for that two days, and then you'll get access to the replays for a week. And then we have our VIPs where you will come into the lives and have access for up to a year to those replays as well as speaker bonuses. So each of our speakers are giving away different bonuses. So you'll have access to those additional speaker bonuses as well. So that's it. And then you can use Barbara's coupon code Deal, Deal Diva to save 50 bucks on either of these. So you can either get it for $49 or $99, right? So incredible. Hey, Amy, when does uh, that special pricing end? So I can make sure that I remind everybody before it expires. Um, Monday. Monday, yeah. uh, May 20th. I think so. Yeah. Let me 22? I'm so 22nd. Mm -hmm. 22nd, Monday, May 22nd, 1159 PM Pacific time. This pricing goes away. Now I'm pretty sure that she is, I, this goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. She just showed us just a couple of tools and I'm pretty sure she could have gone on for an entire day just playing around <laughs> in mid journey and chat GPT. Look at all the different topics that you're going to learn in this two day summit that's going to be jam packed. And if you did nothing else but just sat there and watched everything, your your brain would be oatmeal by the end of it because it's so much to take in. So I highly recommend for that extra $49 do the VIP for $149 minus the $50 when you use Deal Diva code. So for $99, you get the replays for a year, which to, I'm I'm doing it. That, that is super valuable because that way I can choose one session and then dig into it for a month and really deep dive and apply it to my business. If you try to watch, like binge everything in a two-day period and think you're going to get it all and implement it, it's going to be really tough. Um, Let's share a savant more power to you but i recommend just another 50 bucks guys give up your coffee for a couple of uh, starbucks for a few days and do the 99 dollars using my discount deal diva and get the replays for a year that's my suggestion to you amy uh, any last words thank you so much for being here it's by the way it's amazing uh at home.com slash ai let me just share my screen so you guys can do a screenshot now that i've corrected that deal diva code with no um, <laughs> no space, amazing at home.com slash AI save 50 bucks by putting in deal DV. You have to register by Monday, May 22nd, end of day. 
Amy, any any last words about your summit or chat or, or AI in general before I let you go? Um, no, I mean, I just thank you so much for, you know, sharing. This is really, for me, um, part of my e-commerce journey is just been bringing people together and helping. And I know you do a lot of that. And um, so this is why I put this together and why I made it so affordable. I'm just basically covering my overhead here, as you guys can see, with bringing all these speakers on and everything. But, you know, for me, it's really important that we all grow together and AI is an opportunity for us to grow together in this community. And so, you know, come and not only learn AI, but network and meet other people and, you know, be part of the community because that is, it's, it's a really beautiful thing. And, and all of us just are rooting for each other, you know, can't wait to see what Snarky Cat does. It's going to be amazing. I appreciate it. I take you up on your challenge for, uh, um, thinking outside of the box with Snark Snarky Cat and using AI to help me think out of the box. Uh, and by the way, AI is not just for e-commerce sellers. So if you're if you're doing digital, if you need something for personal development, business development, and we are just at the beginning. So if you were to fast forward just a year with the, how how fast AI is being integrated into our lives and society, right now you're at the beginning. So jump on now and learn even the basics now, uh, or you're going to be left behind, in my opinion. This is not mm -hmm. a fad. I'll, say, I'll close out by saying once again, it, artificial intelligence tools and integrations is not a fad. So start learning the basics now. Definitely. Thank you, Amy, for being here today. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you on the summit. I'm excited to uh, be a part of it and um, just jump in and do learning myself. Thanks so much for all that you shared today. Yes, thank you, Barbara. See everybody there. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.